This is the VO Life. Positive conversations about living the voiceover life. Insight into the business and day-to-day grind of being a regular Joe VO. From the humble beginnings to the finally hitting a new level to getting that first big client. It's all about that VO life. Here's your host, Troy Holden. Hey, 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 Troy Holden here. Troy Holden Voice is your blue collar voice of choice. Welcome to the podcast. Today we're going to be talking about mental health. Yeah, we're going to talk about mental health. As a voiceover artist, don't drive yourself crazy. How do you stop from driving yourself crazy? And this kind of tags on to some of the things we've been talking about in the first few episodes. Wow, voiceover, it's so stressful. It really is, isn't it? And and especially maybe in your first year or two. So why is it so stressful? Well, think about it. There's all these people and all these platforms and all these things you're uploading and updating and trying to keep up with. And then, oh, wow, you take off and you're getting work and things are going along and then somebody pulls the plug and down you go. So what should you do when these things happen? Jump on the platform, make a bunch of changes, try to fix things, update this, update that, change your thumbnail, change your demo, do this, do that. Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. You were getting work with what you had. Why are you changing it? Good point, right? Maybe there are improvements to be made. Maybe small ones, but make those small ones, make them little. But here's what you really should be doing. Go do something totally else. Go take a break, get away from it for a little while, and then come back. And then maybe work on a certain type of read that you feel like you need to strengthen. Record yourself, of course. Make some new short video things. Get some things ready to post on LinkedIn and get some things ready to put on all your social media. Work on those things when the other things aren't going right because you're planting seeds for the future. You can either mull all this over and pull your hair out and strain and stress and hurt and be mad and upset. But the bottom line is focus your energy somewhere else instead of on the negative or the freaking out because things usually turn around. There are cycles in any business COVID has proven that, right? It cycled a lot of businesses all the way out. But on the other hand, the cycles I'm talking about can be up and down cycles. You see that. That's how economics works. It's how everything works. And you'll ask yourself, well, why is so-and-so still getting all these orders? Why are they this, that, and the other? They've not been doing this any longer than I have, and I don't understand why. You'll never understand why. You will kill yourself. You will wear yourself out and wear yourself down trying to figure out what's going right, what's going wrong. And all this will do, in all honesty, is bring on some doubt and depression. And then you're not going to help yourself at all because you're going to get down on yourself. You know, we talked a while back about imposter syndrome. I'm not really good at this. I, I, I don't, I'm not worthy to compete with these people. Yes, you are. You've got jobs. You're getting jobs. You're getting some work. You're on your way, but don't get to the point of, I'm not good enough. You may not be polished enough yet. You may need more coaching, more practice, more. What do I, what do I love to say? Practice, practice, practice. And then what do you need? Practice, practice, practice. And then what? Practice, practice, practice. Practice with good scripts. Do good practice. Get coaching and practice what you're coached on. Another thing you can do is sit down with a bundle of eight or 10 scripts and start highlighting what are the bullets in here? Where should I change emotion? Where should I go from negative to positive? And where's the sale? And where do I pick it up and read it that way? Then mark it up again a different way and read it that way and listen back to it and critique yourself. You don't have to send it to other people. Critique yourself and work on that. And listen to the different ways because surprise, surprise, we don't know which one of those ways the person that wrote that or is going to award that work wants to hear that. We get direction, 
we get a little direction. But even with that direction, a lot of times we still don't know, so we're guessing, right? And that kind of goes back to the, uh, the, the episode on auditions. Give what you think they want and then give them what you think it is. And sometimes number two wins. There's, there's been several times I've went back and heard something that was awarded that I auditioned for and I actually heard how it came out and I went, that's not really what they said when I auditioned for that. So I'm learning the hard way. Two takes, two takes, two takes, always two takes. And there are still times on the narrations and the, you know, the e-learning things. I don't do two takes. And I probably should because they may look for a different tone. Even if I just do a little bouncier tone, you know, fire extinguishers are hanging, blah, 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 on every bay pole in the building, and they are there for your protection. Well, then I might want to go, fire extinguishers are hanging on every bay pole, and they're there for your protection. You know, maybe they want a smiley guy. Maybe they don't want the frowny old safety guy that we're all used to, you know. Give them more than what they ask for. What do you think? I don't know. So stressing, 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 and this comes at a good time because I'm stressing. Uh, I'm re- I've really been stressing the last few days, and I'm, I've, and then something else would happen. And and some of you may remember me talking about it. You know, the first of or the end of May, I just felt like my fiber traffic went dead, and I start I looked, and my impressions started going way down. Well, then uh, I get a notice today that my main gig has has something in it they didn't like, so they flagged it and they said you need to take that out, and I did. I fixed it. And uh, they also flagged my title for being too long, and it's always been the same forever. Uh, but I fixed it. I shortened it up. I took out a word, and uh, and it's still sitting in there waiting for approval. Um, you know, and it's just like I've. You start thinking, who did I tick off? What did I do wrong? But you got to remember, this is all based on automation and algorithms and things that you know automatically pop up. Um, I probably didn't do anything wrong other than I may have brought attention to myself by changing my thumbnail twice within a week. And I think, I'm beginning to think, uh, the more changes you make, the worse off you could be. And I still want to change it again because I don't like it. I've had people comment they don't like the color combination. They don't like the font. They don't like this or that. And I think, you know, it was working pretty well back in April. I'm going to go grab that old thumbnail and put it in there, but I'm not for a couple of weeks uh, and maybe for a month. And then if it levels back up and keeps going and picks back up, then I won't do anything. But I'm going to stop fretting over that. I'm going to go do something else. I'm going to concentrate on my voices auditions. I'm going to concentrate on new e-learning and narration scripts because I need to build a much stronger demo in that area. Mine is okay, but now that I've done more work, I actually have some real work I could put in there that would be formidable compared to what I have in there now is samples. Uh, Some of them are good. I'll keep some of them, but I want to put a few fresher ones in there that sound better and actually get them on the front end because I I really don't think I have the strength of what I can do in that. And uh, I do believe that could be a strength for me. I'm starting to get uh, shortlisted on several e-learning type things on voices, and then I'm still getting the game trailers and the silly stuff, and that's okay. I missed a couple things on there that I was shortlisted on. They got awarded today, and it it hurts. You know, it does because we really hope to get those things. But you know what? I'm getting better at just going on, moving on past it. There'll be another one around the corner. And then as soon as I got upset about that, I got two more new shortlists on something, on two jobs I never expected to be shortlisted on. And who knows, one of those may pan out. You just don't know, right? This is rolling dice and a crapshoot, and you keep going back. And you have to pretty much be uh, glutton for punishment if you're in VO because you're going to get turned down 90 times more than you're going to get accepted, and it's tough. So you got to be mentally tough, and you have to get out of that rut, get out of the ditch, get up here on the side of the road, and do something constructive when things aren't going well. Work on something constructive. Do you have a calendar or a map for your day or your week as to when and how much you're going to work on social media marketing? Then make one. Do you have a quote-unquote schedule 
somewhat of when you're going to look for production houses to solicit or email. You don't have to actually do it yet, but do you have a, a time that you're going to set aside and say, I'm going to take 30 minutes and peruse Google and find people in my area or in the Atlanta, Georgia area or in the Chicago area, wherever you live, where you can start cultivating at least a list to start off of and then put that into some kind of tracker and then send that email and then see what happens. So turn that into a positive. Turn that into something other than depression, anxiety, sadness, hurt. It's very easy to do that. It's, it's actually much easier to take those paths than it is to take that positive path, isn't it? I think it is. So I don't know how many of you are churchgoers. How many of you are a, a religious or, or if you go to church? And in the South, we go to church. One of the things that I hear many times from a preacher is he'll say, I don't really have much today. And then he'll preach for an hour. And I love that because he's probably preaching, or he's definitely preaching from his heart and not from his head. Well, that's what we've got to do as VOs. we got to work from the heart and not from the head. We can't let the head and the mind get in the way of what our heart loves to do, right? So think about that. Maybe get a sticker or get a, a little soft, fluffy heart and put it up in your booth somewhere. And, and when you sit down and you're not feeling great, you look up and see that heart. And remember, I'm doing this because I love to do it. My heart, I have a passion for this, a heart for it. That's why I'm doing it. I'm not doing it for the punishment and the abuse I'm not doing it for the, the guy that wants nine revisions because I can't say endoscopic right. I'm not doing it for him. I'm doing it for me and my family, and I'm doing it because I love to do it. I heart to do it. So don't get down. Don't get low. Get up. Get up and go do something and stay positive. How long have you been doing this? Have you been doing this long enough to actually be upset and worried about it? If you're 10 years in and you've hit a slow spot, you're probably calling your friends and, and, and that's in the industry and saying, hey, are you slow too? And you're getting a feeler. Is it just me? That's your first panic button you're going to hit. We do that also, but we, we what, <laughs> what we don't realize as newbies is we're all going to have slow spots and we may not have the quick comeback. Some people will. Some people are just freaking lucky, right? They, it seems like they catch every break. So what? Are you working at this? Are you doing the right things? And do you have your mind in the right place? If your heart's in the right place, let your mind follow. Quit worrying about it. And I'm preaching to the crowd. I'm preaching to me. And that's another thing that we hear in church a lot. This message, I may have given it to you, but it was meant for me. Because I am guilty. And I need to turn it around and get positive and stop worrying about what I cannot control. What can I control? When I practice, how much I practice, what I'm practicing on, am I getting coached? Am I working on my marketing? Am I working on my social media? Am I doing the right things there? Oh, I can control what I do to my profiles on, on all these sites, but it's a lot smarter to leave that stuff alone because it was if it was working at one time, it'll keep working. And remember, everything comes and goes in these cycles. So if you've had a, a checkup on your profiles and things and had somebody else look at them and they told you what to do and you did it and then things still aren't better, leave it alone. Give it a few weeks. It probably won't get any worse. It'll probably get better. So relax. Do things to help yourself. Get outside. Get away. Go ride a bicycle, motorcycle, horse. That's what I love to do. Do what you do to get your mind off of this. And then come back and dig in. You can do it. I can do it. And again, this is for me. I'm preaching to me. So I hope you're doing well. I hope everyone is enjoying these podcasts. I hope I'm giving you something that helps motivate you and helps you move forward. I'm not here to sell you anything. I'm just here to share with you. And I'm also here to vent. It helps me to get on here and talk about these things because it helps me focus. 
So thank you for being an outlet for me to send these things out to you. Have a wonderful, wonderful few days. Who knows when I'll be back? Whenever the whenever it hits me, it could be a day, it could be a week, it could be a month, it could be, I don't know. But until then, thank you for listening in. And we'll see you next time right here on The VO Life. You've been listening to The VO Life with Troy Holden. Check back for more episodes each week and catch up on what you've missed also. This is for you, those just living that VO Life. Thanks for listening and join us again. The VO Life intro is by Louise Porter. The outro by Liz Moya. You can pick us up on Spotify, Amazon Music, Apple, and many other podcast carriers. Need to send me an email? Do it today. Troy at TroyHoldenVoices.com. Thanks for listening.